Hello, everybody. Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Um, before we get started, um, I wanted to show you guys one of my pieces that's still available. If you remember, I did an ivory triptych. There is one more, but I don't have a hook there and you probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Um, but this triptych ivory um, is still available for purchase for anyone who is interested. Um, you can catch that video. I will link it up at the top if you wanna watch the making of this video. Um, so we have a 12 by 16 and 11 by 14 and I believe it's a nine by 12, I think. No, no, it's not. This is the center and it's an 11 by 14 and then one on the other side, something like that. It's in the information in the description below um, of this video, which again, I said, I'll link at the top. But if you're interested in this piece, um, please email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. And uh, my red triptych is also um, still available for anyone who is interested. This doesn't stay properly because I have a hook down here and it's kind of interfering with that. So in my last video, um, I told you guys about some exciting news about me doing, um, we're doing a family renovation. Um, we're putting a massive extension on the back of our home and digging. The excavation is slated to start next week. Today is Monday, yes, Monday, August the 10th. Um, and so we're hoping, fingers crossed, if everything goes according to plan, digging will start next week. So I asked you guys all who is interested in seeing the renovation progress and process of it all and the unbelievable um you know comments and everyone was like yes i want to see it yes i want to see it yes show us the renovations so um due to the overwhelming response i will be showing you guys the renovation process now this is going to be a really long process it's not like you know we have a general contractor who's got all his trade guys and say, hey, John, it's your turn. Hey, Mike, it's your turn. Hey, you know, you know, Peter, it's your turn, you know, one by one by one and then have everybody come in. I'm the general contractor. So um, we have, I have to, you know, make sure everybody's lined up and try and get everyone here on time. And unfortunately, unfortunately due to COVID, some people are still busy, other trades guys are, so anyways, it's gonna be a long process four months, five months, six months, I don't even know. But I will show you guys the process of the reno. And what I was thinking was, instead of adding videos um, of the renovation at the end of an art video, I decided it would probably be best to do a separate video of the renovation. It'll be on this channel. I'm not gonna create a whole new channel for it. It'll be on this channel, but I'll call it renovation vlog, okay? It'll be a vlog. Um, and anyone who's interested in watching it can watch it. I had a few people say do a separate video because I'd like to watch it with my husband. My husband loves DIY shows. We all love HGTV. Who doesn't love HGTV? Um, but everybody loves reno videos. So, you know, for those of you who want to watch just the renovation, like the husbands and, you know, whatever, it'll be a separate video as opposed to putting it at the end of an art video. Um, and then that would make my art video really long and some people don't want to see a renovation. So I decided not to mix the two together. So along with posting my regular videos, hopefully continuing my schedule of every third day, in between there, I will release a renovation vlog video. So stay tuned for that. And I will show you guys the before. So I will show you guys what my kitchen looks like. I'll have to clean it up first. Um, but I'll show you guys all the rooms that plan on being affected. We've already started packing stuff up. Um, we have a for formal dining room upstairs. We sold the dining room set because we're not gonna need it when the new reno's done. So we have a big empty space. My husband's moving his office from upstairs from the spare bedroom. Now is gonna be downstairs on the main floor. So his office is gonna be there, which means my art stuff is moving upstairs. So within this week, you're also gonna see me moving my art space. I will no longer be in the basement because there's gonna be construction happening. We have to tear a hole in the wall, put a door, which is gonna lead into my new art studio. Um, and I can't have that and have dust on my stuff. So I'll be moving up to the spare bedroom. So I won't be able to take everything with me. I'll just take all my essentials. 
but I will have a new space upstairs temporarily. So stay tuned for all of that. So again, thank you everyone for your comments and all of that. And again, if you want to see that and you want to see a vlog, let me know. Um, I have a few pieces to show you outside. It's a beautiful sunny day. So after the intro, stay tuned for some outdoor pieces. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a fellow viewer who's been watching for a long time, welcome back. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscription button. Don't forget to head on over to my son's train channel. He has his own channel where he features his um, HO scale model trains and Juno and Echo, go and check out their channel as well. All that information is listed in the description below. So let's get started. I'll show you guys some outdoor pieces and then we'll get started to today's pour. Be right back. on a commissioned piece for a good client of mine. Um, she saw my yellow um, base Dutch pour and she loved it so much she had to have one of her own but she wanted it a different size. So what we have here is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. As you can see I've already painted my edges. I just took a paintbrush, squeezed some paint on a piece of paper or whatever and um, I painted my sides okay so I don't paint my sides with my concoction that's in my bottles here with Floetrol I just take it straight out of the tube and the color we are using is cadmium yellow deep hue by Liquitex basics so I've painted the sides and I've already gone ahead and thrown the paint down but I wanted to show you guys how much paint um, I typically put on my canvas a lot of people are still asking me that um, so I just wanted to show you guys and then what I do is I just literally use my awesome spatula um, to spread the paint around. Um, I know some people use a hairdryer to move it around. Um, for me, I prefer the spatula because I can kind of feel um, how much paint is on the canvas and if it's pooling in one spot more than another. Um, so I find that I can spread it out more evenly this way. And uh, you can find this spatula listed in my Amazon shop. Uh, the shop is listed in the description below. And it's the large spatula because there's a mini um, and a large one. This is the large spatula. I hope I'm not making a mess here. Yes, I am a little bit, but that's okay. And so basically I just now take it, wipe it on a paper towel, and we're good to go for the next time around. Right, clean, perfect. I'll put that over there. And so I've gone ahead and put down my base. So then what I do is I take my squeeze bottle. So I have my Loli Vefi squeeze bottles, which are awesome because I now just take my bottle and go along the sides like so to get coverage on my sides. It's so, oops, so much easier to do it this way than to sit there and use a popsicle stick, air bubble, 
I just, it's a lot quicker to do it this way. At least this is my, how I find it. It's quicker for me this way, just like that. And then what I do is I just take my finger and any spots, I just dab it and I get it fully covered. And if there's a spot missing, I squirt some more. So I'm really excited but nervous at the same time for this renovation. Um, a lot of you guys said it's, you know, going to be a hard process. I know. Um, I better not trip on anything here. Um, you know, we went through renovation process already. Um, the home we're currently living in was custom built um, 10 years ago. But the only difference was we had an actual, like, a builder. He was... The contractor he did everything um, but this time around I'm doing almost everything um, so you know I'm a little nervous and it's a lot of it's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of stress and I just got to remember that the end result is gonna be amazing and all well worth it when I'm done or when it's done I mean so I just got to remember that just, you know, look at the final prize at the end, um, you know, brand new kitchen, huge brand new kitchen, um, my own art studio in the basement, secluded from everything else and everyone else. Kids will have brand new bedrooms, so pretty exciting stuff, but like I said, it's going to be a long process. Okay, we are fully covered. I'm going to take my torch. A lot of, I've had a few questions lately. Um, but what the torch is for, it is for popping all the air bubbles that are trapped inside the paint because I just mixed up this paint this morning and there's air bubbles in it alongside with a doggy hair. There we go. Good old Juno. Gotta show up in everything I do. All right, so... The colors I am using today are, this here is a fluorescent red by Liquitex Basics. I had some leftover from the last pour I did, the Yellow Dutch, and I put it in this cute little container. Um, these I get from Loli Vefi, um, same place I get my squeeze bottles from. So if you're interested in getting these squeeze bottles, these are the 150 mil. So the middle sized squeeze bottles, there's a bigger size and a mini or a smaller size. Um, and then she's got these cute little containers for any excess paint. And uh, you just put it in here and this has been sitting here for weeks and it's still perfectly fine. So you can get that or the silicone mats um, from Loli Vefi. Anything on the website, you can now save 10% off. I used to have a promo code just for the silicone mats where you could save five bucks. But now I have a code where if you use code CANELA10, you get 10% off your entire order on the website, um, which is great because she's got some really cool silicone molds and she's got some really great stuff that she sent me and I'm going to show you guys in the next video. I can't wait to try some stuff with the resin and I'll show you guys all that uh, in an upcoming video. So we have Fluorescent Red by Liquitex Basics. Then I'll be using 24 karat gold by Deco Art, and then I have Cadmium Red Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics, and then we have Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics, and last I have this beautiful Iridescent Orange Yellow by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. So we will get started now. I contemplated in one of my last videos, I asked you guys, how do you want to see stripes? Um, the vertical stripe, which I have yet to do. Um, but I had a few people mention do kind of like a half moon. Um, and because this is a square 20 by 20 inch canvas, I figured that would be a perfect size um, to try this on. So I had a few people say, do like a crescent shape. So I'm going to try that. Um, I've never done it before. So I will go with everyone's uh, suggestion or a few of you had this suggestion. So I will try that. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out as we go. Um, but kind of like a half moon like that, I guess. And I am going to be doing the vertical 
um, stripe because I have a commission piece I need to do and the client has requested um, the vertical lines. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing that at some point. Oh, always a phone call when I'm recording. It's always either grandma, it could be Lucas because he did sleep at grandma's house last night. So once again, it's like it never fails. There's always gonna be someone calling the house when I'm in the middle of a recording. All right, now let's do the 24 karat gold, like so, followed by cadmium red deep hue. All right. Okay, dioxazine purple, one of my favorite colors. Okay, and last but not least, the iridescent orange yellow, which will leave, I'm sure, a beautiful shimmer, as they all will, because actually, hmm, only two out of the three are shimmery or metallic color. So let's uh, pop the bubbles on the uh, colored paints here. All right, let's uh, blow it out and see what happens. Now I gotta figure out how to blow this out because I've never done uh, a piece like this before with a crescent shape. So let's give that a go and uh, let's start up, uh, start down here. Let's start down here and see what happens. Okay, now I gotta remember how I did that so I can do it over here. Uh, okay, let's, uh, wow, okay, let me figure this out. Looking hands here. Holy smokes! Look at the cells that are growing in this thing. Oh my gosh, it's insane! And I love this valley of negative space in here. Oh, it's amazing. I, I don't even know where to look first. So I'm, I don't know if I wanna to touch any of it. I'm thinking about maybe blowing a little more in here. Let me just try. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna stop right away, but let me just try. I like it. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, so pretty. Let's see here, without tripping on anything. Wow, this is super neat. I love the crescent moon idea, although it kind of didn't turn out like that. Like, I mean, it's so hard to 
figure out how it's going to work out because of the way you're blowing things, but I'm really liking this. I didn't like that too much yellow there because it's all fallen off on this side. So I kind of want it to match the same on this side. So I might actually just blow that off. Let's see. Or at least just blend it in. I like that. I don't know if I should touch that. I think I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. This is so amazing. I love it. So I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. I'll keep the studio lights on and then I'll turn them off and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with the lights off. Be right back. Okay, everybody. So here we are with the studio lights on and just look at how rich. Like, I mean, I really love that fluorescent red. It really pops a lot, but look at the cells. It's amazing. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. I could not be happier with this piece. And I know my client because she's, you know, purchased a lot of pieces off me. And I know, I know, Amy, if you are watching, I know you're gonna love this piece. Totally love this piece. So there you have it with the lights on. Look at that, it's amazing. Now, let me turn the lights off and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Be right back. All right, guys, before I show you guys the piece with the studio lights off, we have a viewer's choice um, for the next piece. We are looking at this beautiful manganese. I think that's how you, manganese, blue phthalo by um, Amsterdam. So this is a pretty cool blue I saw last time I was at uh, Curry's art store here. And then, you have the option of phthalo cyan green. So kind of like a phthalo green. So let me know which one you guys want to see next. I know I've done a lot of blues. I did a lime green, but I haven't done a phthalo green. So um, let me know in the comments below which one you'd like to see in my next video. So that is your viewer's choice. Now on to this sparkly painting look at that shimmer from the 24 karat gold it is amazing i love 24 karat gold it leaves such a beautiful shimmer look at that right there so pretty so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you want to see more designs like this um i know i told you i'll be doing the vertical line um, it's a commission for a client, so I'll get to that at some point as well. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, don't forget to check out all my information in the description below the video. I have all my social media links there, my Amazon shop. I have a US, Canada, and UK Amazon shop. A lot of people have been asking me to create an Australian shop. I'm doing my best. I am working on it. Uh, I will let you guys know if I can get that up and running. Uh, don't forget to check out Lucas's channel and Juno's and Echo's channel as well. And please head on over there and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, and I think that's it, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know which color you want to see next. And um, let me know about the renovation vlog. I will start doing some of those videos soon and posting in between my art videos and um yeah i'm very excited and i hope you guys are too follow me on this journey with me it's going to be a stressful one so i'm going to need you guys there to hold my hand and tell me to breathe when i'm getting stressed out and crying <laughs> but um yeah it'll be a fun fun wild ride that's for sure so thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful monday and i'll see you guys uh, soon have a good day have a good night and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.